we're not talking about doing any business with a hard money lender here. We're talking about going straight to the source. If you're a real estate investor and are wondering how to raise and leverage private money to make more profit on every deal, then you're in the right place. On Raising Private Money, we'll speak with new and seasoned investors to dissect their deals and extract the best tips and strategies to help you get the money, because the money comes first. Now here's your host, Jay Connor. I want you all to understand this if you don't already. This world of private money is a direct opposite direction from the way you typically borrow money from a bank. For example, there's no application process. You know, when you borrow money from a hard money lender, and of course, when we're talking private money, we're not talking brokers. We're talking about doing business with individuals, human beings. And a lot of hard money lenders out there will say, hey, you know, I got private money for you to borrow. Well, they raised private money from individuals to invest in their hard money broker fund. And then they are now loaning that out, right? So a hard money lender is like a middle person. We're not talking about doing any business with a hard money lender here. We're talking about going straight to the source, straight to the source, individuals, just like you and me, that are loaning money out either from their investment capital and or their retirement funds. That's where the money's coming from, right? Now, there's other creative ways that we teach as well. But for the sake of today, that's primarily where they're getting the money from, either their investment capital or their retirement funds. Now, how are they using their retirement funds? Well, we teach the, these private lenders, you will teach these private lenders, how they can move their current retirement funds over to what's called a self-directed IRA company, the company that we recommend for people to use their retirement funds to loan money to us on deals is uh, equi good night, I can't even talk, questtrust.com. In fact, Ashley's going to put that in the chat, Quest trust.com. That's two T's back to back. They got the best service hands down. I get my deals. I get my real estate deals funded in three days and less when I have a private lender that's using their retirement funds that they have moved over to Quest to fund my deal. So as I was saying, this is not a application process. You're not applying for a loan. You know, the old traditional way to borrow money is you go to the bank, you get on your hands and knees, you put your hands underneath your chin, and you go, please fund my deal. Please fund my deal. Well, that's not the case here. There's no selling, begging, chasing, persuading, trying to talk somebody else into approving your deal or approving your loan. You see, we don't ask for money and we don't ever pitch deals. I've never pitched a deal in my life, right? And people ask me all the time, well, Jay, how do you how do you get a deal funded and you're not like pitching the deal? Well, we separate the conversation between first teaching a new potential private lender in our warm market, people we've got some kind of association with our private lending program. And you ask the question, well, Jay, how do I learn the private lending program? It's in my book, right? All the details of the private lending program that we teach is in my book. So if you don't have my book, where to get the money now, you need to order my book. Well, where in the world, how do you get the book? Well, you can pay 20 bucks on Amazon or you can get it for free from my office and um, I mean, a couple of bucks you have to cover for shipping and handling, but you get my book order. I mean, you can't download this. It's an actual real book, right? So you get the book at jconnor.com. That's with an E-R, jconnor.com forward slash book. We'll ship it out to you. So again, this is not traditional money that you're borrowing, right? There's no application process. I mean, we make the rules in this world. 
We set the interest rate. We set the term. We set the frequency of payments, right? And so again, it's not it's not asking for a mortgage. It's offering a mortgage. So how do I get a deal funded without pitching the deal? Well, the new private lender or the existing private lender that's doing business with me has already told me how much they got available. I know how much they have available at any time. And I simply call them up and here's the script. I say, I got great news for you. I can now put your money to work. I already know how much they got. So I say, I can put your money to work for you. And I tell them four things. You want to write these down. So the four things that I tell them are one, where's the property located? I don't give them the physical address. They could care less when I'm having this conversation. So I tell them where the property's located. I tell them the after repaired value. I don't tell them the purchase price. They could care less. I'm giving them the after repaired value because they already know I'm typically not going to borrow more than 75% of the after repaired value. So I tell them what township's the property located in, the after repaired value, and then the funding required or the amount that I'm going to borrow to fund that deal. And then the fourth thing I tell them is the closing date because that's when they got to have their money wired to my real estate attorney. So for example, let's say I'm talking to one of my private lenders. Let's say one of my private lenders is Scott Patton. So I call up Scott and say, Scott, I got great news for you. I can now put your money to work. I got a awesome. house in. <laughs> awesome. You're excited because you've been waiting for the phone call. That's so right. I, say, I say, Scott, I got a house in Newport after repaired value is $200,000. The funding that's needed for the deal is 150,000 and of course I know you have 150 because you told me last week and fun and the closing is going to be next Wednesday so you'll need to have your funds wired to my real estate attorney by next Tuesday. I'm going to email you my real estate attorney's wiring instructions. Actually my attorney's going to email you her wiring instructions for you to send over the funds. Now, that's the end of the conversation. I'm not going to ask Scott if he wants to fund the deal. That's the most stupid question I could ever ask him. Of course, he wants to fund the deal, particularly if I have told him about Quest Trust. If he's using retirement funds, he's 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 moved his retirement funds over to Quest. They're not earning any money while it's sitting there in his account. So he is ecstatic that I have now called him. In fact, I've got an ethical responsibility to call Scott and put his money to work because he moved his money over at my recommendation and I told him about Quest, right? So again, there's no application here. There's no chasing. I'm not yeah, I'm not asking for money. I'm giving people an opportunity to get high rates of return safely and securely. So I want everybody to understand that, particularly all of you new PMA members. Again, this is this is a whole different mind shift here, right? No asking, begging, or chasing, right? Put on your teacher hat, teaching people in your warm market, in your cell phone, you know, your email list, your social media, who you go to church with, who do you go to the Rotary Club with, who do you go to Business Networking International. Exactly, Eric, you're assuming the sale. You are assuming they want to fund the deal, and of course they do, right? They are waiting to hear from you. So I want everybody just to under, just make sure you got that mindset straight in your mind. I mean, in fact, it almost comes down to they got to convince you as to why they should be why you should be using their money instead of somebody else's money that's already offered you money ahead of them, right? Why should they be at the top of the list? <laughs> so anyway, very very important for everybody to understand that mindset. Are you feeling inspired by the knowledge you gained in this episode? Then head over to jconnorcom slash guide. That's J-C-O-N-N-E-R.com slash money guide and download your free guide that shares seven reasons why private money will skyrocket your real estate investing business right now. Again, that's jconnorcom slash money guide to get your free guide. We'll see you next time.
on Raising Private Money with Jay Connor.